Hey everybody, welcome into this new video. In today's tutorial, let's take a look guys of how we can make some stickers using Canva and actually sell that. So what I want to do first guys is to show you a few applications where uh, I'm going to be using in order for uh, work here into this tutorial. So for example, first of all, I'm going to be using Canva in order for creating stickers. And I'm going to be using some Canva Pro features. So it's really important guys that you noticed that there are a few things that might be a little bit more interesting to use into Canva if you have the Canva Pro, but you can do the Canva free version as well. Now I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description guys, so you can check out the Canva totally for free, the Canva Pro section. I'm pretty sure there are up to three days Days, but you have seven days you're more than welcome to use them and we're going to be using this website this platform called penful which also i'm going to be sending you a link down below so you can start right away in order for creating these stickers we are going to send the designs into penful so they can be creating these stickers and lastly i'm going to be using the etsy section because here into etsy what i'm going to do is to put in here my sticker so i can sell that here into etsy but you can sell those into ebay facebook whatever you want to but in my case i want to use etsy because etsy is already connected into my printful uh section because i'm going to be showing you how to do this and actually i didn't have to spend like maybe just one or two dollars so it's really really simple now Let's begin. First of all, guys, what you guys want to do is to first of all, you want to set up your store, right? Now, considering here that my store is Etsy, the thing is that I'm using Etsy because what I want to do is to create some stickers and a dropshipping supplier can create those stickers. And since when someone makes the order inside my store, they can be creating those stickers and send that directly into the customer. So I don't have to spend anything about inventory and absolutely anything, right? So that's why I'm using Etsy, but you can always create an account into Shopify and you can list your Shopify into Instagram and you don't have to spend absolutely anything, which is really, really amazing, guys. So with that being said, after you create your account here into Etsy, what's going to happen here is that you can start creating your listings, right? So after you have your store here into Etsy, you will want to create an account here into Printful. Now, once you have your account into Printful, you can go into your dashboard and go into the store section. And into the store, you want to choose the platform in order to connect my store into uh, Printful, right? So in our case, we can choose Etsy. Out in here, we can make some e-commerce with all these uh, options that are available in here. So you can do some eBay, you can do Pressure Shop, you can do Big Hotel, you can do um all of these options that you want even you can do amazon but in my case i'm going to be using etsy right so choose connect and after you grant the access to from etsy or from your store and to the penfold it's going to be showing you something like this and in here i'm going to choose add a product so when this appears add, add a product i want to choose the sticker option if it's available let's see if this one is available here into penful so as you can see here is case card sticker sheet and this is like just one uh card of stickers i strongly recommend you guys to stick around with this one because it's a little bit more cheaper and if you want to like create a, a very huge sticker and you can do always do that in my case i want to stick around with this one because it's more interesting so i'm going to choose this option and now in here it's going to be asking you for a design right so here you have the technique, the steps and the product information and pricing and that and guidelines. So I'm going to choose this option and go into my print file templates. And as you can see, here's my print file size. I want to stick around with this A5 because I want to need this information in order to create my stickers. I'm going to go into Canva and I'm going to stick around with A5 if it appears in here. A5 document which is this one and as you can see here's the sheet size right so if you go if you want to you can print a file template uh, but in my case I don't want to do that I'm gonna stick around with that uh, option later and then now that this is like everything is set to start creating my designs I want to go here into my Canva and create my stickers now if you are not a designer if you don't know how to create some 
stickers and you want to like just copy paste something i mean you can always go into the element section and there's some free stuff from canva which you can use so let's say that i want to i don't know maybe look for happy star so once i have my graphic section let's say i am kind of interested into this one right here and here are some magical recommendations like this one are two alike so i'm gonna just make this look like this i'm gonna just make this just a little bit smaller smaller and i'm gonna be choosing this option as well so what i want to do is to choose all stickers that i want to add into my template it's really important guys that you don't cut your stickers like too close because if they are too close it's going to be the application the website or even the platform is going to be making this look like if there was just one i mean if this is too close this is going to be one sticker so you don't want to do that you want to create some space between these lines All right, so once I finish here my designs, my, well, actually, this is not my designs. I mean, this is just like something that I'm going to be using, uh, doing real quick. So once I'm successfully done with this stars, for example, I'm just going to make this, drag this a little bit more like this. What I'm going to do here is to go into the share option, download this, and here's the size. What I strongly suggest you guys is to make the size just a little bit more higher so you can get more resolution and it's going to be looking greater than the actual size. So what I want to do is to download this. Now here, this is just a premium section, the pro version. I love to have a transparent background so I can only have the stickers here. I don't want to have the white. So after that, I'm going to go back into my products from Printful and in here, I'm going to drop my design. There you have it. Now in here, we have the placement, the placement. So this is the sticker. If you want to create like a background, you can do that. In my case, uh, I think that for making a background, I'm going to do something a little bit more different. But if you want to merge something, as you can see here, layer, right? So I think I'm going to stick around with this position. And if you want to move that like in here in here, you can totally do that. In my case, I don't want to stick around with those. Actually, I kind of like that. I kind of love this. Uh, it's are looking too cute. I think this one is a little bit weird. I'm going to assume this just for a second. Here, as you can see, it has just a few spaces that I don't think they are too uh, interesting. So what I want to do here, go back into my design and in here, Now, as you can see, the problem has been already solved. So you just want to be really sure with this, that the thing that happened to me does, does happen to you guys. So uh, here's the, the I'm going to go into proceed to the mockups. The mockups is like how it's going to be looking after you make the uh, download the digital brand uh, print file. So let's say, for example, that I kind of like this mockup or this one. I want to proceed into the pricing. If you are okay with this revenue, I think we just, um, I'm going to just increase the size like for two, something like that. And go into submit to store. And there we go. I think actually, I, I think I can go back into all. Now you know how to create your own designs. Now you know how to create here your own stickers. And actually it was really, really simple. So once again, guys, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description. So you can create your own store. You can create here your own um stickers and see what comes for you see what you can sell here into etsy or another store thank you so much for watching this video guys don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more about this designs uh stuff tutorials and hopefully guys we'll see you next time